Welcome to my tutorial series on object oriented programming in Python. Today I will discuss some basic concepts of object oriented programming in Python, which includes classes, objects, methods, and constructors. Let's start first with classes. A class is a blueprint which is used to create objects. Suppose I own a factory which produces new cars. As we all know, all cars have four wheels, at least one engine, doors, seats, color, etc. Now I can write all these properties together and call this blueprint in object oriented programming a class. Now my own car is an object and also an instance of class cars. Similarly, your car is also another object and also an instance of class cars. So the class cars describe the concept of what a car is and concrete cars are objects and instance of class cars. Now what is difference between an object and an instance? In a nutshell, object and instance are same thing, but the word instance indicates the relationship of an object to its class. Python is a little different when we talk about objects. Unlike other programming languages such as C++ or Java, Python has very loose definition of an object. In Python, everything is an object. Even classes, functions, methods, or modules are objects, and they can be passed as arguments to functions or assigned to variables. We will cover all this in further tutorials. Now let's look at a simple example of class in Python 3.5. The class definition in Python starts with class keyword, which is followed by name of your class and terminated with colon. In this example, I have defined class vehicles. There are also other ways to define a class in Python 3.5, as shown in other two examples. Internally, they are all equal. In all these examples, my class vehicles does nothing. The Python keyword pass indicates that no further action need to be taken. I have also made two objects of class vehicles, named my vehicle and your vehicle. Creating an object in Python is very simple. You just type the class name followed by a pair of parentheses. Now let's move a bit further and add some methods to our class vehicles. In Python we have functions and methods. A method in Python is actually a function, but it belongs to a class. Both functions and methods start with def keyword short for define, followed by a space and name of the method or function. This is followed by a set of parentheses containing the parameter list and terminated with a colon. As you can see, set color method in this example. Another difference between methods and function is that all methods have one compulsory argument. This argument is conventionally named self. You can name it as you want, like apple, banana or anything. However, Python recommends to name it self because otherwise it will degrade the readability of the code. And in Python, readability counts. Now what happens if I forget to include self? Python will raise an error message. Now what is self? The argument self is simply a reference to the object that the method is being invoked on. Notice when I call setColor method, I don't have to pass self argument. Python knows we are calling this method on a particular object. So Python automatically passes that object as argument. I can even call setColor method by passing the object as self argument. But now there is no need to do so and we will cover this in future tutorials. Inside my method setColor, I have an instance attribute my vehicle color, which I set to white. In Python, we have also class attributes. The difference between class and instance attribute is that a class attribute is shared by all instances. An instance attribute is unique to an instance. In our example, Number of wheels is a class attribute, whereas my vehicle color is an instance attribute. Similarly, I have show color method, which returns my vehicle color attribute. In main, I am calling the show color method in print function, which prints its return value. I have also made a tutorial on encapsulation in Python. In a nutshell, Python doesn't support encapsulation, so I can even assess a class or instance variable outside of the class without any restriction. Similarly, a method can also have multiple arguments. In this example, setColor method takes two arguments, self and color. I have set the color argument equal to white, so I can call setColor method with or without giving color argument, as shown in this example. If I call setColor method without any argument, then the myVehicleColor attribute is set to white. In a nutshell, both examples are very similar, but the second example is much more elegant if you are changing any class or instance attribute. Now let's move to constructors. 
We all know that each vehicle has a color. It would be great if we could give the color of a vehicle every time we create a new object. In last example, we used the method set color to set the color of a vehicle. Now using constructors, we can do the same. Constructors are actually special methods that create and initialize objects. Again, Python is a little different than other object-oriented programming languages. In Python, you have constructors and also so-called initializer methods. Compared to other programming languages, constructors are rarely used in Python, unless you are doing something very special. Let's see an example of initializer method. An initializer method is very similar to any other method in Python, except it has special name init, short for initialization, and it starts with leading and trailing double underscores. Keep in mind all methods which start and end with double underscores are special methods in Python. Another difference between an initializer and a user defined method is that initializer method returns nothing. In this example, init method takes two parameters, object itself and color. You can also have multiple arguments. Now when I create a new object of class vehicle, the instance variable color is always equal to white. Similarly, I can also give different color than white while creating a new object. So by using initializer method, I can set the desired instance variable to a certain value. Again, I can also do all this by calling a method, but initializer method is just made for this purpose. Now if you look carefully, the first parameter of init method is object itself. It means object already exists before we call init method. So if you know other programming languages like C++, then you have already found Initializer method is not a constructor. In Python, constructors are called new and they are rarely used. The new constructor returns the newly created object, so it has no self argument compared to init method. The first argument is the class itself, which is passed implicitly like self. The next two arguments are used to pass variable numbers of arguments and keyword arguments. Now let's see an example. New can be used to control the way an object is created. For example, with new, I can restrict the total number of objects to be created from a class. The following code may look complicated, but it is very simple. In this code, I have restricted my class vehicle to two objects. I have declared two class attributes, maximum and current number of objects. Inside my constructor, I check whether current number of objects are greater than maximum number of objects. If this is the case, I raise an exception. Otherwise, I increase the variable current number of objects by 1. The super function is used to reference the super class, that is, the parent class from which you are subclassing. Because in Python, all classes are subclass of special class named object, so I am calling the new constructor of super class object. I have covered the super function in my other tutorials. Now, I hope you have basic understanding of our constructors classes and methods. Thank you for watching and please subscribe my channel for future tutorials.